In this video, I'm gonna guide you through step-by-step step how to use the GoPro Max mobile editing app. And hang around until the end where we're gonna look at an editing shortcut where you edit in real time using the over capture feature in the app. My name's Rich from Eat Sleep 360, and if you're new to this channel and you want to learn more about 360 video and 360 photos, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you're told straight away when I upload a new video. So the first thing we need to do is connect to our camera and then select view media. Now select the clip that you want to edit. Once the clip's open, now select the download icon in the bottom right hand corner. And it'll download and appear in your GoPro media library. You can locate your clip in the GoPro media library by selecting the icon at the bottom of the screen. Now find the clip in your media library and select the clip. You're now presented with this screen which shows your clip in its equirectangular form so you're seeing a flat view from both the front and the back camera at the same time. Now looking at the icons on the screen, starting with the icons at the top, the first icon is your back button. So if you want to go back to your album and then select a different clip then you click the back arrow. The next icon is the upload icon. This will allow you to share your clip on social media, but it won't allow you to save it to your camera roll as it's a native 360 video. If we select the three dots in the top right hand corner, this gives us more information about the clip that we've selected or allows us to delete the clip. If we now go down to the bottom of the screen, the first thing that we would want to do is trim the clip and we can do that by using the scissor icon. Select the scissor icon and a bar will appear at the bottom. You can either pan around the image by swiping your finger around the screen or you can view the image in tiny planet mode by pinching the screen. You are not changing the way the image will finally look at this point, we are only previewing it and we are only trimming the clip. Now slide your finger to the left along the bar at the bottom until you get to the point where you want your clip to begin. And now push the scissor icon again and this marks your in point. Continue swiping your finger to the left to find the point where you want your clip to end and then press the scissor icon again. The scissor icon has now disappeared but you can still make adjustments to the start and the end of your clip by holding the start point or the end point and dragging it along. If you then want to play your clip from the beginning, hold near the middle of the clip and then drag it back to the start and press the play button. Once you are happy with the clip, then press save and then save this as a new clip. This will give you a new clip so you can always go back to the original at any point. This will save it to the GoPro app gallery. Your new shortened clip is now shown on the screen and you are ready to reframe it by putting in some keyframes. Before we do that we want to select the aspect ratio, so the size that we want our final frame to be. We do that by selecting this icon here and then we select this icon and we can choose between 16 9 one by one 4 by 3 or 9 by 16 one other thing you can do at any point during the edit is take a photo from your video by pressing this icon here. Press the button and then select save frame and it saves it to your GoPro app gallery. You can then move it from there into your phone's camera roll. Now I've got my phone locked off here in a clamp for the purpose of this tutorial but the first thing that you will notice is that the image is in a live 360 mode which is a gyroscope mode so when you move your phone the image moves. If you prefer not to have this mode switched on, you can switch it off by selecting the three dots in the top right hand corner and turning gyroscope off. Now swipe your finger across the screen to move the image, pinch in or out to create an inverted or tiny planet. Basically just choose how you want your image to look at the start of the video. Once you're happy with how the image looks, now press on the keyframe icon. So whenever you press this button, you're saying to the software, I want my shot to change here and look a certain way. Once you've selected your first keyframe at the beginning of the sequence, play the clip and then at the next point that you want the image to change, press pause and select another keyframe. And now move the image around to a new position and now select the tick icon. If you can't see the tick icon once you've reframed, just tap the screen. Now continue to do this until you get to the end of your clip.
Now we've inserted all the keyframes and decided how we want the shot to change, there are now a few more things that we can do to our clip. So the first thing we can do is select the scissor icon, which is to trim our clip even more. If you select this and you want to come back out of it, you just click on the cross in the top left hand corner. The second icon along, which is a pause symbol inside a stopwatch, adds a freeze frame to the start of your video. Select the pause icon and now drag your finger to the right to increase the duration of the pause. Once you've previewed the bit that you want to pause, press done and you'll come back to your main screen. When you come back to the main screen, you'll now see a solid blue line which represents how long your image or your action in your image will pause at the beginning of your sequence. Even though it's paused, it will still transition to your next keyframe. So in this example, the car is paused, but the shot is still changing as it transitions to the next keyframe. Once it hits the end of the blue line, the action will start moving again. If at any point you want to play your clip from the beginning, just push and hold on the timeline at any point where there are no keyframes and then slide back to the beginning of the sequence. If at any point you want to adjust the pause length, just press the pause button and then slide the blue line left or right to change it. And if you want to delete the pause, then press the bin icon. You can place a pause at any point along your timeline just by playing the clip and then pressing the pause button at the point you want it to pause. When we play the entire sequence on the timeline, we can see that the image will start to change as soon as it hits a keyframe and it transitions smoothly from one keyframe to the next. We can now make changes to how that transition looks. So if we play the clip and then pause on top of a keyframe, you'll see that this icon appears above the keyframe. This is our transition icon. Press this icon and you can then experiment with the transitions by selecting either linear, ease in, ease out, ease both or jump cut. If you want to delete any of your keyframes at any point, select the keyframe and then press the pencil edit icon and then delete it. You can then add another keyframe using the method that we've already discussed. Once you're happy with all your keyframes, then take it back to the beginning and play it all the way through. And double check it, and now you're ready to save it. So select the save icon, and then render the video. The video will save in the GoPro app gallery, and then you can export it to your camera roll or any social media platform. We have two other options in the app. If we want to delete all the keyframes and start the edit again, we can select the three dots at the top right hand corner and delete all keyframes. But the other option that we can choose is over capture and this is a shortcut editing feature that allows you to do a live edit in real time. On the over capture screen the first thing that you can select is the size of your final frame and at the moment you can only choose between 9x16 and 4x3. Now press the round circle and the video will start to play from the beginning and you can swipe around the image in a live environment or you can zoom in and out and all your movements will automatically add keyframes and create your final film all in one go. You then process your film and it will render the final video and save it to your GoPro gallery. You can also toggle to photo mode in overcapture and play your video and take a photo frame with this button. Once your videos and photos are in your GoPro gallery you can then make further adjustments. You can adjust frame size, exposure, brightness, saturation etc and even to an extent you can adjust the speed as well as add filters. You can then select the blue arrow in the top right hand corner and save them to your camera roll. I hope this tutorial has given you the confidence to get on and start editing your 360 videos. If you like this video and you learnt something new, please share it and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for weekly hints, tips and tutorials and reviews on 360 photos and 360 videos. And I'll see you on the next video.